Most Popular Toys of the 1960s The 1960s toy market continued to grow and is one of the golden eras for toys. There were more toys than ever before. Licensed toys from television shows became huge. Many of these toys lived on into the next decade and more. As Barbie was really beginning to take off, there was another doll that really gave her a run for the money. Her name was Chatty Cathy and she was a talking doll. She became the second highest doll of the decade. She would pull a string on her back and it would allow Cathy to speak one of her own 11 phrases. I love you, of course, was one of those. The doll even made an appearance on the Brady Bunch with Marsha Brady. Barbie made her debut in 1959 and really hit it big in the 1960s, but she went without a companion for two years before Ken arrived on the market in 1961. Initially, the doll had felt for real hair the first year. After the first year, it was replaced with a plastic dew. Dolls were a hot commodity in the 1960s and they needed a place to live. 1962 introduced little girls to a cardboard ranch complete with mid-century modern furniture. Years later, Barbie would add levels and decadence to her home. Dolls got a little more masculine in 1964 with the introduction of G.I. Joe. A whole army of plastic soldiers just couldn't stand up to Hasbro's mighty hero. The Easy Bake Oven started teaching kids how to bake at a very young age in 1963. It utilized two light bulbs and came in two colors, yellow and light blue. Easy Bake wasn't the only popular small appliance in the 1960s. In 1966, Susie Homemaker was released and it was a line of shrunken appliances that made little girls forget about their Easy Bake ovens. wham produced many of the most memorable children's toys of the 1960s. The Super Mini Ball came out in 1965 and was one of the most popular. These super bouncy balls were supposed to bounce six times more and were supposed to be six times more fun. When Lightbright was launched in 1967, it was billed in catalogs as the amazing new toy that allows kids to color with light. It came with 16 pre-printed picture sheets to lay on an image box. There was nothing like the frustration of when you were working on a picture and you accidentally bumped your box and all the pegs fell out. Matchbox had been selling tiny cars for over a decade when Mattel jumped into the game with Hot Wheels in 1968. The initial line of cars included American Muscle like Camaro, Corvette, Firebird, Mustang and more. Ideal Toy Company premiered these sort of two-dimensional dolls at the end of the decade. They came in three sizes and each with a theme. These groovy mod relics are quite collectible now. Rock'em Sock'em Robots is a two-player action toy and game. This toy was released in 1964 by the Marks Toy Company. It was designed by the renowned toy design firm Marvin Glass & Associates. The game featured two robots, Red Rocker and Blue Bomber. They were each manipulated by the players, and the game was won when one player knocked the head off of the opposing robot. Etch-a-Sketch is a mechanical drawing toy manufactured by the Ohio Art Company starting in 1960. It had a thick gray screen and a red plastic frame with two white knobs. The knob on the left moved the internal style horizontally, and the one on the right moved it vertically. It sold 600,000 units in less than five months. Operation is a game of physical skill that tests players' hand-eye coordination and fine motor skills. This battery-operated game was invented in 1964 by John Spinelli. He sold his rights to the Marvin Glass for $500. The game was initially produced by Milton Bradley, but today is produced by Hasbro. The players are all dealt cards and the object is to remove the humorously labeled body parts without making an error. One wrong move and his nose will light up and he'll start buzzing with pain. Twister is a game of physical skill that was first produced by Milton Bradley in 1966. It became a success after actress Eva Gabor played it with Johnny Carson on The Tonight Show on May 3, 1966. The competitors started a controversy aimed towards the game and Milton Bradley stating that they were selling sex in a box. 
The game is still being produced today by Hasbro, who acquired Milton Bradley in 1985. Battleship is a strategic guessing game in which two players play. The winner is the one who has sunk all of the opposing players' ships. Originally, it was a pen and paper game that stemmed somewhere around after World War I. It was printed on paper by various companies in the 1930s and 1940s. In 1967, Milton Bradley introduced a version that used plastic boards and pegs. In later years, it was modernized with electronics, but the original version is still just as popular. Batman gets an honorable mention here. It was certainly not new, though. He first appeared in Detective Comics in 1939, but the Batman television series that aired in 1966 was extremely popular. Because of that, there were all sorts of merchandise and toys that were released, and they were highly desired. From Batmobiles to figures, and water guns to so much more, these were a big part of the 60s toys as well as decades to come, all from the television show. The 1960s produced some iconic toys that are still enjoyed by kids today as well as adults who had them as a child. Many of these toys are now collector's items worth tons of money. Thanks for watching this little episode on the most popular toys of the 1960s. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, stay tuned. Next we'll be taking a look at the 1970s and the most popular toys from that decade. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time. <music>